Imagine this. One ordinary day, the Sun, our faithful celestial companion, decides to take a break. Not just for a moment, but for an hour, a month, or even a whole year. What would become of us, the inhabitants of Earth, if the Sun's warm embrace his high-profile cases? Picture this scenario. The last photons, those tiny messengers of light, and the final particles of the solar wind are embarking on their journey towards our planet. Unbeknownst to us, the heart of our solar system has ceased its rhythmic beating. Within a mere eight to nine minutes, darkness descends upon the Earth like a heavy velvet curtain. Whether it's the stillness of midnight or the vibrant hues of noon, the abrupt absence of sunlight is unmistakable. Suddenly, the stars, once mere twinkles in the distant night sky, shine forth with unparalleled brilliance against the inky blackness. But where is the moon in this cosmic symphony? Without the sun's gentle touch to illuminate its surface, it fades into obscurity, a mere shadow of its former self. Before the darkness fully envelops us, a mesmerizing display may grace the heavens, the ethereal dance of the northern lights. Yet, amidst this breathtaking spectacle, a somber reality looms the cessation of photosynthesis. With the sun's energy withheld, plants and cyanobacteria can no longer produce the life-giving oxygen upon which we all depend. As the hours pass, panic tightens its grip on the daylight side of the planet. Power grids falter, communication systems fail, and temperatures plummet. The Earth's surface, deprived of the sun's warming rays, grows cold and desolate. But beneath the surface, a different story unfolds. The Earth's molten core, undeterred by the sun's absence, continues to radiate warmth, preventing a complete freeze-over. Days turn into weeks, and still, darkness reigns supreme. The average temperature hovers around a bone-chilling 2,000 years after his demise. In regions blessed with geothermal activity, pockets of warmth persist, offering a glimmer of hope amidst the encroaching cold. Yet, for many species, hope is fleeting. Plants wither and unable to withstand harsh conditions. Herbivores and creatures of the tropics succumb to the biting cold. Even the oceans, once teeming with life, begin to feel the effects of the sun's absence as phytoplankton populations dwindle. The inhabitants of shallow waters found themselves battling against the merciless cold as the ocean's surface began its transformation into a crystalline wasteland. Scientists and concerned individuals scrambled to erect shelters, realizing the gravity of the situation. With each passing day, the Earth plunged deeper into an unforgiving freeze, with the average surface temperature plummeting to a bone-chilling minus 30 degrees Celsius, leaving almost the entire planet encased in ice. As the frost tightened its grip, life on Earth faced its greatest trial. Plants and cyanobacteria withered away, succumbing to the bitter cold. Yet, amidst the desolation, some resilient species, particularly certain types of trees like conifers, clung to life. However, the scarcity of sunlight hindered their oxygen production, and soon the majority of terrestrial life met its demise. But life, tenacious as ever, found refuge in the depths of the ocean and near geothermal springs, where warmth still coursed through the Earth's veins. Even as the surface froze over, 
pockets of liquid water persisted, sustaining a fragile ecosystem. Yet the specter of extinction loomed large, casting a shadow over the planet's future. As the years passed, the Earth became an icy wasteland with thick layers of frost covering both land and sea. Professor David Stevenson, a voice of reason amidst the chaos, predicted a further drop in temperature to a frightening minus 40 degrees Celsius, signaling the planet's relentless descent into frigidity. In this frozen world, survival became a relentless battle against the elements. Life clung to the warmth of geothermal vents, and perhaps in isolated pockets like Iceland, humanity persisted, drawing strength. Julius Caesar, the... Yet, amidst the despair, a glimmer of hope flickered in the depths of space. While the Earth faced an uncertain fate, the gravitational pull of the Sun remained constant, anchoring the planets in their celestial dance. Even in the face of cosmic cataclysm, the Earth's journey was far from over. Speculations arose about the distant future, where the Earth, cast adrift in the vast expanse of space, might encounter new stellar systems, embracing the warmth of a new sun. However, such musings remain confined to the realm of imagination, for the true destiny of our star lay millennia ahead. In the grand tapestry of cosmic events, the fate of humanity is intertwined with the destiny of the sun. As our star aged gracefully, it would one day swell into a red giant, consuming the inner planets in its fiery embrace. Yet, even in its final throes, the sun promised a future for humankind, beckoning us to explore the endless expanse of the universe. In the face of uncertainty, one thing remained certain. The story of our planet and its inhabitants was far from over. Whether it be through adaptation, exploration or sheer resilience, life would find a way to endure, casting its indomitable spirit across the vast reaches of space and time.